Woof! Woof! Hello, hello! Welcome to the Puppeterian's Puppet Summer Camp 2021. <laughs> I am Dugu the doggy. Oh, go fast, fast. First, subscribe to the channel and then write done. D-O-N-E. Done. Here in the comments. And then we will give you a shout out in the live chat section. Okay? <laughs> go. Do that now. Great. <laughs> I'm so happy to see you all here. Woof, woof. <laughs> I love you all. You know, today I am going to show you how I was made. In the very first session of the Puppet Summer Camp, we are going to make a dog sock puppet. <laughs> yeah, I am a sock puppet. I was just a sock. I know, it's hard to believe I'm so cute and all. <laughs> woof, woof. The puppetarians gave me eyes, nose, ears, hair and a sweet cute little tongue. <laughs> woof, woof. <laughs> okay, I know you all must be excited to make your own sock puppet, Dugu the doggy. Let's get started and make our own Dugu the doggy sock puppet. Let's go! Woof, woof. Take a bright colored sock and take its pair or any other sock you like for making the ears. Eyes can be made with googly eyes or you can cut a white card in circles and draw a black round pupil at the center and make eyes like that. Or you can use two white TT balls and big black bindis for eyes. If you are not able to find any of these at home, just roll some white paper into balls and draw the eyeballs with a marker. There are many ways to make eyes. For nose, you can use a bottle cap or big pom-pom balls. To make tongue, use some red chart paper or a red piece of cloth. For hair, use a piece of fur or wool. This is optional. Other things you may need are white paper, scissors, glue. We use a glue called Multifix. It's a contact adhesive. But you can also use Fevicol, a piece of white cardboard, black marker, yellow thread and needle. That's optional. So, first of all, take the colorful sock. There are always two areas in the sock. One for your heel and the other for your toes, right? You will wear the sock on your hand in a way that your fingers will come in the toes part of the sock and your thumb will come at the heel part. You can pinch and pull the heel part and place your thumb there. That is how you must always wear this sock puppet. That's my mouth, see? Woof! 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 <laughs> now, below the bumpy knuckles, my eyes will be placed. Feel your knuckles? There, right below it. You can paste googly eyes or the homemade eyes with paper or the TT balls. I was keen on TT balls, so my puppet maker had to use these. Mm. First, mark where you are going to paste the eyes with a marker or sketch pen. Two dots at the center. Then take the sock off and keep it with the eye markings facing up. Next. Put some glue on the TT balls or whatever kind of eyes you are using. Try to cover the black black writings on the TT balls. We don't want to see that. <clears throat> Put glue on both TT balls and then wear the sock again. Remember the correct way to wear it? Fingers in place of toes and thumb in place for heel. Yes. Now paste the TT balls on the marked spot. And stick black pindies on them. Front and center. 
Yay! I got eyes! I got eyes! I got eyes! I can see! <laughs> I can see all of you! <laughs> Next is the nose. I love the round shiny bottle cap for my nose. So my puppeteer laid me down. Put some glue on the bottom of the bottle cap. Warn me again and then pasted the bottle cap at the center of the eyes. Point forward on my face. And that's how I got a nose too. Shiny shiny nose. I can smell now. Then she took a black marker and drew a little line below my nose. And gave me a few freckles too. <laughs> you can give your Dubu the doggy the same with some sketch pen or marker. See how cute I am looking. <laughs> now the ears. Take another sock. It can be same color or some other sock. Your choice. Then cut the feet part out. You can take your parents help for cutting, gluing, sewing etc. I took my puppet maker's help. Now cut along the fold line of this piece of sock. Cut all the way through. Now you will have two big U's. Turn them around. Put glue around all the inside edges. Turn and paste the edges inside. Just to give the ears a neat look. Also put glue on top and fold the top parts like this. These ends will be pasted on the sock puppet. I was so happy as my ears were being pasted right behind the eyes at the center. You can either paste them with glue or stitch them with needle and thread. Your puppet, your choice. I said paste, paste, paste. <laughs> and then she pasted my ears right behind my eyes. Oh, and after the glue was dry, she wore me again. And I was so happy to get these big floppy ears. Yeah! <laughs> woof! Woof! Then she took a little piece of fur, turned it and put some glue on all sides. And then folded it in a little. The fur will go behind my eyes too. That will also cover this part where the ears are meeting. Then she put some glue behind my eyes, over the ears and pasted the fur like this. So smart, cute and amazing I look. <laughs> now at the very end, on a red piece of cloth, she drew a long U for the tongue. And then she cut it out with the scissors. This U will go over the puppeteer's thumb. You can make the tongue hang out from the side or just keep it at the center. Your puppet, your choice. Put some glue on the portion that's going to go inside and then paste it at the base of the thumb. And that's it. Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> so that's how I was made. How did you like it? Huh? Huh? Yeah, I know you enjoyed it. <laughs> so now you all go and collect all these materials to make your own Dugu the doggy and then get set go start making your own sock puppet. <laughs> you know, the materials that you don't have at home, there is always a substitute for it that you can look around or make yourself 
if you put your brains and imaginations to it. I'm sure you'll be able to do it. <laughs> and the pictures and short videos with your puppet, you can send us to puppetarians at gmail.com. You can also share these pictures and videos in the Facebook group that's created specially for this Puppet Summer Camp. Link for it is in the description too. Mm. So make your puppet and send us your pictures and videos. Your puppet creations will be seen by the puppetarians and then they will be showcased in the finale week of this summer camp. Yeah! Woo! Now this puppet camp is totally free as you know but you can always ask your parents to donate a little for the COVID relief here in India. The link for those donations is also in the description. Go there and donate a little to help everyone in need. Yeah. When you donate, send us a screenshot of it too and you will get a shout out in the next session in the live chat. Wow! Now guess guess what puppet we will be making next Friday? Hmm? Write your guesses and all your questions in the comments below. We will answer them all. And yes, all the comments mentioning my praise, how sweet I am, how cute I am, how smart I am, all those I will be answering them personally. Mm. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and being a part of the Puppet Summer Camp 2021. It was great having you all here. And we will see you again next Friday, same time, with other, another exciting puppet. <laughs> Till then, share this video with your friends and family and invite them to the summer camp. Let's all make puppets together. Huh? <laughs> Stay home. Stay safe, wash your hands, wear your mask, and bye bye. Woof, woof. This video is created by the Puppetarians. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon too so that you never miss another video from us. Let's play puppets! <laughs>